Greetings YouTube visitors. I'd like to read an article today um, by Dr. Paul Craig Roberts. It says, it just warned the United States economic implosion is now accelerating. Uh, Mr. Roberts was a former assistant U.S. Secretary, Treasury Secretary official. And um, this is beginning to happen across the country. The warning signs are there are there, are, but very few look for them or want to see them. But it's a dynamic in which once you see it, you can't unsee it. A teacher I know told me this morning that Colorado school districts are quietly cutting staff across all districts. The only reason this would be occurring is that the state is projecting a decline in tax revenues. The only reason tax revenues would be declining is because economic activity is slowing or contracting. And Colorado supposedly has one of the more vibrant state economies. Uh, let's see. The soaring level of hope that for some unexplainable reason unaccompanied, or rather accompanied, the election of Trump is now crashing. The so-called hard data, which somewhat measures the level of economic activity, never moved higher in order to justify the optimism, an optimism tragically seated in ignorance. As an example, the Kansas City Fed released its economic survey today. The composite index crashed from 20 to 7. Not surprisingly, Wall Street snake oil salesmen, otherwise known as economists, were expecting a reading of 17 on the index. As for individual components of the index, the average work week and number of employees dropped. The production component of the index fell precipitously and new orders collapsed. In fact, new orders, new orders expectations fell below the pre-Trump levels. The six-month outlook metric, aka the HOPE index, plunged to its lowest level since November. Here's the truth of what is happening. Okay, the truth is that all of the regional Fed economic activity surveys were largely driven by HOPE, which registered in the form of new orders for goods that will sit on the shelves of car dealers and non-food retailers in the form of expectations about the level of economic activity in six months. But there has not been any follow-through in the form of actual growth in economic activity to justify the unrealistic level of hope. Real disposable incomes and the real level of retail or auto sales have been declining on the way to a tailspin plunge. Any pulsations in final retail sales and home purchases have been fueled by the parabolic issuance of subprime quality debt. In fact, an increasing percentage of home purchases are from aspiring flippers. We are at the point in the cycle, just like 2007 and 8, in which many of these flipper purchases will never end up with end users and instead will land on bank balance sheets. Auto sales through the end of March were down 10% since the beginning of 2017, resulting in the steepest decline in auto sales since 2009. New car inventory at some of the biggest auto dealers around Denver is spilling over into the giant parking lots at vacant malls as OEMs push overproduction into or onto the dealer network. Once the debt capacity of those still buying pickup trucks uh, once the debt capacity of those still buying pickup trucks at record incentive pricing hits the wall, the auto industry will see a spectacular cliff die. The government is too broke to provide the cash for clunker safety net put in place in 2010. In addition to trillions in printed, electronically generated currency, the Fed has been able to fabricate the illusion of economic growth with an enormous amount of credit creation. Credit is debt issuance. The part about debt is that is conveniently overlooked by economists is that borrowed money behaves like printed money until it has to be repaid. The problem is that most debt created in the United States is never repaid. For instance, the level of outstanding government debt has been increasing every day uh, since before Nixon closed the gold window. This is not debt in the traditional sense of a loan that gets repaid. This is money printing. Consumer and corporate debt going parabolic. You know what parabolic is. It's when it just basically goes almost in a straight up vertical fashion rather than a 45 degree angle. 
Consumer and corporate debt levels have been rising in parabolic fashion and are at all-time highs. Given that large chunks of this debt will never be repaid, just like in 2008 and 2009. Oh, excuse me, I already read that. Um, back up. This would be great in a pretend world in which debt could be issued to borrowers, to borrowers ad infinitum, without end, basically. It would be the proverbial money tree on which free lunches blossom for everyone forever. Unfortunately, debt cannot be issued in increasing amounts to eternity. Currently, it would appear as if the non-government borrower segment of the debt statistic has reached its borrowing capacity. It happens gradually, then all at once. The United States is getting close to the all-at-once stage. When all else fails. This is why the deep state has resorted to the last stage of history's empiric life cycle curve. When all else fails, start a war. And we've talked about Trump's war and why he's resorting to, maybe perhaps why he resorted to his attack on Syria. Maybe something's going to escalate. I don't know. Like I said before in another video, I think something big is going to happen by the end of 2018. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a World War III. Maybe it's just a giant global world financial collapse. I don't know. But something tells me that 70 years after Israel became a nation in 1948, because the, word, the number 70 in the Bible is a significant number. You can study that out. Um, I won't do a study right now, but I do recall that the number 70, which makes up 10, which is a perfect number, 10, number of completion times 7, the number of days in a week, 70, or, or 10 times 7 equals 70. So, um... You can do that steady, Google it, but 70 has a significant number in the Bible. All right, well, that was a short, this is a short video, but I hope you enjoyed it. Again, you can find this article on King World News uh, titled, Associate of Paul Craig Roberts Just Warned the United States Economic Implosion is Now Accelerated. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. It, this was not an article by uh, Dr. Paul Craig Roberts. It was an article by Dave Kranzler who was an associate, a former assistant U.S. Treasury Secretary official, Dr. Paul Craig Roberts. All right. All right. Well, until we meet again, may, uh, may you keep informed and may the Lord richly bless you.